So yeah, um, then Jason, then enter Jason Griffith. He is um, a newcomer to voice acting. He just joined, I think, for Kids TV. He uh, goes to, he tries out at Sega of America for the voice of Chris Thorndike because he's a huge Sonic fan, and he wondered what it would be like to, vo to be voicing Sonic's human companion. But uh, yeah, so he so he tries out for the voice of Chris and the Sega. And the guy Sega who's who's holding the audition says he sounds more like Sonic, so he try out for that role. And that's how he ends up getting Sonic the Hedgehog. So by dumb luck, he managed to voice voice one of his favorite video game characters, which I which makes me feel glad for the guy. I really like his I really like his uh, voice work. Wow, that's a pretty snazzy performance there. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, this is new. Showing remorse, Eggman. If you played nice, I wouldn't have to break all your toys. No! Merlina, every world has its end. I know that's kind of sad, but... That's why we gotta live life to the fullest in the time we have. At least, that's what I figure. So yeah, I said, I mean, okay, he had his he had his hiccups every once in a while, but uh, truth be told, he's excellent. Here, he, he only everyone complains about his voice in Sonic 06, but there's only two moments in Sonic 06 where I had an issue with his voice. The first one is uh, this line. Since Eggman went to the trouble of telling me where Elise is, I think I should thank him personally. And the other one, of course, as we all know, is his laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as much as, Now, my apologies for killing all your ears by putting that clip in, but yeah. So. With Ru so now we have Ru so we have Ryan Drummond and J gone. Jason Griffin voicing Sonic. Things are still good. The only problem is the fan base is going fucking ballistic, but it but Sonic still has a good voice, so that's good. But uh, n and Jason Griffin also now. But it feels kind of sad that excluding Sonic and the Black Knight because that's kind of like the Sonic Storybook series, the last main console game that Jason Griffin will ever will ever do was Sonic Unleashed. Sad because it's also Jason Griffin has gone on record by stating that Sonic Unleashed is his favorite Sonic game. So it's kind of sad that he, like one of his last roles is his, is in his favorite is in his favorite Sonic game. Sonic also being his favorite role. I feel really bad for the guy. I mean, what did he get to deserve a sudden replacement? He didn't even know. Just like Ryan Drummond, they both got the same bullshit treatment. Ryan got it from Four Kids, and Jason got it from Sega. Essentially, the new replacement, the new Sonic voice did the voice of Chris in Resident Evil, I think. Now, as I recall, I recall that being a cool voice, but I don't think that fits Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, it's supposed to be like this, uh, I don't, I don't play the Resident Evil games. Ah, fuck. Anyway, I don't play the Resident Evil games, but, uh, I have a friend who does, and he show and he showed me Chris and everything, and it's, and I remember, and I remember this guy having, like, a cool, a very cool, and a very, a very cool but creepy kind of voice. You know, this, com it's, that sounded calm and collective, right? It's suddenly, but so yeah, that kind, of, and that's not the kind of voice you want voicing Sonic. I mean, sure, Jason Griffith might end up voicing both Sonic and Shadow, and I and I cannot, and Shadow probably going to be replaced too. But I'll get into that later, which will really piss me off because he had an excellent Shadow voice. So this, I don't think this guy would fit Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, come on, seriously, and just listening to to his voice. Sounds really annoying. Have a great stay. Don't forget to ride the Sonic Spinball. Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> Don't ever go woohoo again, you douchebag! You make you make my ears bleed. This also brings up another thing. The fan base went ballistic on Jason Griffith, who was a good voice. Now imagine what the fan base will do when the, when Sonic is replaced by a bad voice. Imagine how fucking insane they'll go. Now, it's not... I'm not gonna go... Now, just to clarify, even though I'm kind of bitching about Sonic New Voice, I am not one of those idiots. I am... I'm still looking forward to Sonic Colors. I'm still gonna play it. I'm still gonna love the game. 
I just some kind of I just feel really bad for for uh, Jason Griffin. I mean, come on, seriously, he doesn't deserve that bullshit. Neither did Ryan Trumpet. Neither of them deserved that bullshit, and they both got it. So yeah, I guess I've covered my. I guess I covered. I guess I've ultimately covered my my thoughts on the Sonic Hedgehog voice change. But let me now let me go in a bit more in depth on what I've heard. It turns out that the whole cast, with some exception, with some exceptions, are getting a voice change. It turns. Dr. Eggman, Dr. Eggman is just one of the only people still being voiced by the previous cast member. Essentially, um, yeah, I suspect that I guess one reason why Sega might be doing it, I'm not sure, because I'm not sure, I don't think the guy who voices Chris works at 4Kids TV. I'm not sure, but I don't think he does. But, uh, yeah. So it's because, it's because basically, uh, I think the reason they're doing this is because now that Sonic X isn't around anymore, they're thinking they should be. They're thinking they want to. Cause I think the main reason they did it was because they wanted to keep consistency with Sonic X. But now that there is no Sonic X, they don't feel that need anymore. Which is so. But that doesn't. That doesn't really count it to me as a motive to change the cast again. I mean, why? Why can't they just? I mean, just because Sonic X is over doesn't mean they need to. Doesn't need to. Doesn't mean the vo They have to go. They have. They can't be the voices anymore. <laughs> I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? And this also proves to any of those idiots who keep who keep running rumors that Sonic X is going to have another season. This proves that's bullshit. There is no new season of Sonic X at all. If there was, they wouldn't have replaced. They wouldn't have dumped the four kids cast. Because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna assume that this guy again. I'm gonna assume that the guy who voices Chris in Resident Evil does not work for four kids. <clears throat> anyway, so they're replacing Tails as well, which is a bad idea because essentially. Tails has only had one good voice in his entire voicing history. Well, he, uh, wait, actually, I'm trying to look back. I can't remember. There might be one good voice in the cartoons, but probably not. I think eventually the Sonic the Hedgehog was a little okay, but that show, but even then, that show was just fucked up. So you, so yeah. Now, Sadayam Tails' sound is so annoying. I swear to God, he, I cannot, I cannot stand his voice in Sadayam. And I can't remember who did him in the Christmas special, but it wasn't all that great either. But it was, whoever it was didn't all that do, do all that great of a job either. And uh, so looking past that, let's look at his voice in the Sonic movie. The guy sounds like he has a. Now that, I think the, I think if the guy didn't sound like he had a cold or girl, I'm not sure if it was a guy or a girl, then I think uh, Tails would have been Tails would have, Tails's voice would have been excellent. But anyway, let's move on to the games. Corey bring us. Oh my God! Anyone who supports this guy needs to get a clue at what acting is. Poor Bringus is terrible. He's like, he can put z he has no emotion into anything he says. Everything's working great. All systems go full speed ahead. Uh oh, what's this? No! So yeah, he's then replaced by William Conquery for I think it was William. I think I think Conquery is his last name. Excuse me if I'm wrong. It's Sonic Hero. It's Sonic Heroes. Now, Corey Bringus was actually two years older than Tails. He was eight. Tails was then voiced by William Conquery, who was younger than Tails, which is not smart because he sound he sounds younger than because Tails sounds younger than his age. In addition to that, even though he sounds like even though he sounds like he has more emotion, which is kind of sad that this that a four year old can make can give more emotion to to a character than a ten year old, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, yeah, it's still not like great. He still sounds unfit. He still sounds uh, annoying. He still he has that. He sounds kind of annoying at times, and he sounds like he has a cold, just like the one in Sonic OVA. Now then, he also sounds kind of whiny. So now we give now Amy Palin. Perfect. With the one exception of with the one exception being Sonic Rebels Two. What what are you doing here, SBO? Sonic and I are following Eggman, trying to figure out what's up with the Chow disappearances. The Chow disappearances? Do. Do you have any leads? Sorry, SBO. I can't tell you anything. I've got to catch up to Sonic. See ya! But apart from that, perfect! She fit Tails' character so so amazingly! It was awesome! It, just, and it, it stuck in my head. It really did. I just, like, that whole, that her, her voice as Tails just stuck in my head. I was actually surprised when I learned it was a girl doing the voice of Tails. Still, how can a plank like that just float? That's easy to explain. According to the Kutta-Joukowsky lift theorem, the control surface flow is balanced by the inverse kinetics of the- STOP! I get it, okay? It just floats, and that's good enough for me. But anyway, uh... 
Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, giving Tails a third voice might not be a good idea, and I don't know if... And I'm gonna... Hold on a minute, I'm just gonna pull up the article for a second to see what the name of the person is. So they had the name of the person replacing Tails. Let's see, Sonic Stadium. Oh, by the way, for the record, I'm not a big fan of Sonic Stadium anyway, but... When they're right, they're right. But when they're right, they're right! <laughs> 